Council? Um, I received a copy of the survey from um, Sentinel Fair Housing. Uh, there was a survey done of um, people looking at going to open um, basically rent uh, units for rent and it confirmed that there was um, that there was incidences of discrimination and I would like that report to go to our um, what is it the um, human human is Yes, and I would like to have them evaluate that and come back with some recommendations to the city council on how we can address that because that's the the other other side of 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 the coin. We have that information now. We're made aware of it. Um, we need to have someone look and um, double check it, for lack of a better word, uh, to come up with some comment and solution on it on how we can um, uh, basically have a, a way to, I'm not gonna say receive complaints, but a way to let the public know that if this happens to you, it's against the law and it should be reported and it goes back to existing laws and fair housing uh, um, rules that are on the books. And I'd, I'd like our social services and human relations board to take that as a task not an open-ended task, but within um, a quarter's time, should be able to come back to us with a, uh, an analysis and recommendation. And that would also give the, the public a chance uh, to weigh in on a, yet another forum. And it's part of this equation that's going on right now um, with our neighbors at Harbor Isle and uh, those who are trying to relocate in Alameda, if they've received any of that treatment that's alleged in that survey, um, they need to have uh, awareness of what their rights are and uh, since we know about it now we need to act on it so I'm making that request yeah. Councilmember Kerr I would like to add to that that <clears throat> we find out from Sentinel Fair Housing who are the how many landlords they actually uh, interviewed or interviewed because I've heard wildly different numbers and two, who they are, because we need to hear from the other side of the story. Uh, I personally do not find Sentinel Fair Housing as a, value, as a reliable source of information. Um, and so we need to check, because uh, there are real problems, and they should be taken care of, but I don't want to go chasing after one that's manufactured. I could do a survey of 24 landlords, and uh, I could pick the one that's going to get be given a harder time just by telling them to behave in a more in some objectionable manner uh, and so it's easy to slant a survey and um, but we need to know what's real and what's not real and so we need to know what property owners they talk to because we need to find out what happened from the board that's yeah we, we should probably um, also just have them yeah ask them to look at the quality of the survey um and i think that's some of the issues uh, council yeah, I, I, look to see what the really what, i hate to see resources expended on problems that may not exist because we know they're real problems and that's where we should determine those and find out and put our resources uh, on those and in that survey, they didn't even claim that anybody was denied an apartment. They just said that people weren't given uh, as good a, a, a deal on how they could pay their cleaning deposit and things like that. And uh, so it wasn't actually stopping people from moving in. And um, But we need to know who they talked to because I'd like to find out uh, what was going on. Okay, anything else? All right, then the meeting's adjourned.